to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins and we're Skyping right now in regards to these incredible photographs taken by Soho. And we're going to be speaking with Robert Evans in regards to his theories on what he thinks these anomalous objects are. To me, they seem quite big and I want to welcome Robert right here in the show, Third Phase of Moon. Thanks for joining us. Yo, thank you for having me on. Okay, well, let's get right to it. Uh, can you give us a quick theory of what you think this photo, number two, that we're looking in, looking at right now in regards to the third photo of the Anunnaki, you know, ancient carvings on the wall here? Okay, uh, we're looking at the red one where it's coming out, where it's like coming out of a big T. Yes. That's a, uh, it's a large Anunnaki starship. Uh, it's either coming out of subspace or warp or whatever term you want to use, you know, you can see the huge T, the warp gate it came out of. Uh, these ships have been coming to our system since at least 1996. Have no idea how big they are, but just looking at that Soho image, you know, that has to be pretty good size. All right, Robert, in comparison to this ancient carving on the wall, uh, what do you think, you say that they're it's possibly that kind of a uh, airship that these ancient civilizations uh, portray in these uh, art formations on the walls? Well, yes, uh, the ancient Sumerians, they carved them in several different locations up on walls, on different things, on small cylinder seals. What you see is you see their god, their Anunnaki god, or the wing god, or Zarathustra, I forget what his name is. And he's harnessed. He has a really nice harness across his belt, across his chest, back to the wings. Wings are kind of really nice, huge, but they have landing gear. They have metal rods going down instead of bird's legs, and they have round knobs making them wheels. So it's a large winged craft that the Sumerians had no way other than a bird to explain. Well, now we're looking at photograph four and five. Uh, number four and the fifth one is basically a more uh, contrasted uh, picture of number four. What are we looking at in this Soho photograph? Uh, in, in photo number four, what you're looking at is you're seeing one of these Anunnaki starships coming out of its warp gate into our system. The sun is right down behind it. It's blocked off by a large disk so it doesn't damage the cameras. And off to the left, you can see this ship that is just shot out of this warp gate, just like Star Trek, the Enterprise, coming out of warp in the TV series. Fascinating. Now we're looking at this uh, color uh, blue photograph, and maybe you could uh, explain to our viewers and listeners about why this photograph is blue, and what does this uh, photo represent in your, uh, in your mind? Uh, which image are we talking about? Yes, number uh, seven and eight. Okay, uh, image number seven. Uh, the Soho cameras, they have about, I think, either four or six cameras showing different colors and different angles. Uh, image number seven here has uh, one and a second. There's actually three starships in this one image. The one down to the left is one that has just recently come out of warp. You can still see a trailing drive plasma behind of it. The ones to the right, down below the sun disk, those are just coming out of warp right at that second. You have a lead ship and then one to its right. It's Before 2011, they would not do this on this side of the sun. They would come around the sun. But for some reason, starting in about 2011 onwards, they just started coming out basically right in front of the cameras. Wow, so how close do you think these ships are in relative, relative to the sun? Wouldn't you uh, imagine that how extremely hot the sun is that this uh, ship would basically vaporize in, in space? What's your theory behind that? Depends upon their technology. If they have the technology to do warp drive or faster than light speeds, then they must must have some kind of a, a, a shielding around, just like the Enterprise does when it comes out of warp. 
uh, as to how close they are to the sun, it's, I, I really cannot answer you. Okay, well, let's move along to uh, image 9 and 10. Well, let's get to number 9. What is this Soho image and uh, what's it about here? It's absolutely a spectacular uh, photograph. This one image here is also showing uh, two starships coming out of warp. The long beam-like type things down from the one starship and up from the other one, they're being attacked by something. That's an energy beam that is not from that warp gate. And you can see other uh, beams up just to the left of where they are coming out in the full picture. Well, as we look through uh, photographs 10, 10, 11, and 12, we're going to be showing them now. Do you think that Soho was designed to capture an intergalactic battle or war going on right now? Or do you think this was some kind of uh, indiscriminate, by mistake uh, capture that these Soho images are getting? And what is their explanation of what these are? I don't know what their explanation is. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Dr. Ken Johnston, he knows the guy who actually did the building for the Soho satellites. He said that these are not fakes. And these are either deliberately set this way so they would be able to record them, or these are accidentally recording them. It's hard to say more evidence of what looks to me like more lasers or kind of like an attack going on some kind of sophisticated military uh, maneuver in an exactly. alien sense and and if, if anyone takes the time to actually look at the images online for soho you can actually see these little zits and uh like like phaser beams to use a, a more common name yeah, and they are fighting someone. Hopefully it's not us. Well, it's the perfect example of what George Lucas was talking about and what we might be looking at right now is a real Star Wars event being captured by Soho. And, and it's amazing that you saw these photos. And I know a lot of people around the world have been picking up on these and sharing them on the Internet and YouTube. And it's an absolutely fascinating subject matter. Now, let's go. Oh, so go ahead, yeah. Yeah, uh, on, on image number 13, it's a, it's a blue image. You can actually see one of the ships using its main weapons hitting an orb. So that orb might be a cloaked vessel. Who knows? But yeah, the, these, are, these are all on the Soho uh, images. It now, shows a great deal of power that these things have. Certainly. Now on to uh, pictures 15 and 16. More, you know, Star Wars action going on straight out of yes. a science fiction movie. Tell me, what do you think's going on here? It looks to me like a ship's actually either taking on fire or uh, launching something. What do you say? Well, in image 15, it is actually hitting another huge orb. If you look right at the end of the uh, of the the phaser beam. It's hitting, an, it's hitting a round object. It's just barely there, but you can see it. So these ships are attacking somebody else, something else. Well, the Empire in Star Wars, I'm going to keep referring to it just because, you know, what else are we going to compare it to? Numbers sure. 17 and 18 look like, uh, you know, an Imperial uh, massive ship that Darth Vader used to, uh, you know, command. Yes, uh, well, number 16 shows what I call the Death Star, or the Super Star Destroyer. It's just, ma it's just massive. And you, if you look back towards the end, right in the middle, you can see the huge blue engine. Uh, and then number 17 shows uh, a closer image of one of the Anunnaki starships. These things, they have a habit. When they come out of war, they're rapidly decelerating and they're trailing drive plasma behind of them. And you can see it in the image. Uh, as they slow down, the drive plasma dissipates and all you see is the ship coming towards you. Now, yeah, number uh, 18 shows at a different angle 
where it's actually coming up and a little bit to, from the left to the right, and you can clearly see the dry plasma behind it. These things are just something else. Out of this world, most definitely. And now this angelic photograph, number 19 that we're looking at. Absolutely yes. stunning, beautiful. Uh, again, what is it? We don't know, but it's there and it's absolutely incredible and huge beyond our imagination. Again, yes, and that, that one's departing from our system. NASA, NASA records these things every day coming in and departing out or doing something. So they're here. You know, Robert, I really want to thank you for sharing these incredible photos that uh, you've picked out exclusively right here for Third Phase of Moon of what your opinion is of actual evidence of Star Wars going on right now, being captured by Soho uh, imagery. And aliens coming into our system, whether they come to the Earth or to any other planet, they're here. They came here for a reason, and they've been coming here since the late 1990s. Robert, I really want to invite you back for later discussion on the radio show we have Thursdays on Revolution Radio Freedom Slips, uh, you know, 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific Time and our uh, weekly Friday show on 6 p.m. Pacific Time, Third Phase of Moon. Will you come back and uh, join, us, join us again? Yes, I will. You're more than welcome. Thank you for the offer. All right, Robert, I really, again, really appreciate you sharing these incredible photographs with us. No problem. Thank you. If anybody out there has captured anything amazing in regards to UFOs, anomalies such as Robert's here that he shared right here at Third Phase of Moon, you could contact us via Skype or Facebook, Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time.